Hey there everyone, it's me Chris again, and welcome to video number 8 for the Ramp Mod on the Diagostini and Model Space Millennium Falcon. And this is a very important video, I'll try to make as fun as I can of myself with this, but this is important stuff. Okay, let's start. Let's flat, fast track this all together. Okay. We last left off uh, about gluing the hallway and curved corridor to the metal frame. Yes, that's done. Now we need to make sure these areas are light blocked with uh, body filler or modeling putty or gap filling glue. And I've done most of that uh, for the uh, purpose of this video. It's not complete, but I want you to get the idea. All around the border, all up inside uh, this area right here, you might see some light leaking through. Just check to see, uh, just hold it up to the light and you'll see where the light leaks through. So use the appropriate uh, actions to uh, stop that. Once that's glued in place, let's move on to the next step. These are very important steps. Let's add the lower linkage bracket as shown here. Right here. Yes. Notice the V bracket. This should be upward and it glues in place with the top of the bracket flush with the large uh, hydro hydraulic piston arm bracket all in one plane, all level and flush and put together. All right. Once that's set in place, glued and dried, we need to clean the hell out of these metal pins for the large hydraulic arm brackets. Yes, clean them as much as you can. Solvent, sandpaper, uh, you know, anything you can do. You know, don't, uh, I wouldn't recommend, you know, washing them with detergent and uh, you know a, a, a scratchy sponge risking rust the intent of this is to make the pins as smooth as possible so that the action up and down is as flawless as you can get it or as smooth as you can get it okay I used uh, some lacquer thinner let that dry and then sanded it up with a fine piece of sandpaper on both pins. And then I followed that up with some uh, uh, denatured rubbing alcohol. And they're very smooth. All right, after that, the next step is to attach the upper link. The upper link has two uh, relief holes inside the bottoms. I designed this to make uh, some maximum travel. People ask me, why don't you just make holes through it? Well, I'm very concerned that the ramp won't go down far enough. If I put holes through there, it'll only go down so far. I want maximum throw on this as much as possible. And here's another very, very important point. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Don't laugh at me. No, they're all going to laugh at you. Okay. This particular upper linkage bracket needs to be glued with a, a gap filling glue. Be generous, but don't go overboard. And do not use a, an accelerator of any sort whatsoever or that, that zip kicker, zip kicker, accelerator. Don't use it. It'll uh, crystallize the joint and make it weaker because that's what CA Accelerator does. Once that's glued in place, let it set like this. Let it suspend and let it cure and dry for 24 hours. I'm deadly serious about this because, you know, hey, you know, this is advice. If you don't follow it, hey, that's fine. Don't complain and cry to me if it doesn't work. But this is the way it works. I'm actually going to grab it right by its actuator and move it up and down. Oh boy, look at that. And if you don't follow my instructions and scream at me, well, 
I'm just not going to reply. Just go buy another whole Millennium Falcon for all I care. Because I've had many, uh, not many, but a few uh, uh, deplorable people, I'm not going to mention any names, that jump the gun on the instructions and scream bloody murder at me. Well, first of all, I did say this is not a plug-and-play or a direct bolt-on kit. Number two, there's cutting, drilling, sanding, body filler, all that in a bag of chips. I mean, what do you expect? You expect, uh, you know, um, a bacon cheddar cheeseburger to fly out of the sky and land on your lap and say, hi, I'm lunch? No, no, this isn't the case. So for those who didn't pay attention, it's, start, it's high time. It is certainly high time you pay attention. That's all i got to say about that. Let's move on. I'll try to make this short. All right. Now, here's probably another thing that they missed. We want to uh, finally glue the ceiling on to the ramp and corridor section. Of course, it's dovetailed and keyed. Slap that on. Glue it with CA glue. And then the micro switches that we had, let's attach those. Okay, the one that says, let's read this. Thank God I marked these. The top switch goes on the tall adjustable bracket. Now we'll slide this in place. They are dovetailed and grooved also. And since they are adjustable, do not glue these yet glue them a long time later after you get the landing gear get the height of the ramp ratio where it's supposed to open and close proper and then glue it in place you can temporarily glue this these parts they're they're adjustable and they're meant for a reason to adjust the travel moment or the travel length for the up and down action of the motor so don't permanently glue these in yet. Take the other switch, which is... Let me untwist my wires and bear with me, please. Take the bottom switch and put it on the stern side adjustable bracket. Slide it in the adjustable place as far down as you can go, or as far down as it will allow. And we'll all be cool with that. Don't shove it down too far. You'll see the micro switches open and close if you do um, open and close it too far. And the micro switches, when they close, uh, tells the, the main board when to stop the motor and start reversing it uh, to uh, open and close it all together. So this is what that's all about. So we've got the light blocking done, we've got the ramp and corridor glued in place, we've got the ceiling glued in place, we've got the lower linkage bracket glued in place for the adjustable micro switch brackets and we got the upper link done. The last part to do is just dress up the wires and grab the pivot pin set. The pivot pin set, if you will, are two small parts. There's a, an end cap and the pin itself. If I can show them right here. And these are the last two parts to install between the linkage bracket and the extended rope, ramp motor arm as shown here. Um, Basically, just don't try to move the ramp motor extended arm up and down. Just open up the ramp itself. If I can show it here. Bear with me, please. Okay, here we go. We're cooking with Crisco now. 
right here, these two parts. Just line them up and install the pin as such. If I can grab it, yes sir, like a rabbit. And I will install this. I'll show you in a better light as soon as I can. Put it completely through after you've uh, reamed out the two holes, uh, one on the extended ramp motor arm and the upper linkage bracket. Put it all the way through. Let me show it better, oh, the best I can. Here we go. There's that. Add the end cap on the end and super glue it right on the end and you'll be good to go. So that's it. Um, I'm not going to sit this here like that because my ceiling's not glued yet and I don't want to put any stress on the linkage. So the best bet is to just uh, elevate it with any raised object and uh, let that set and cure. Okay. Oh, one of the last notes is uh, since the wires are extended, and I already broke a wire, so I'm going to have to re-solder that. Speaking of soldering, um, if this modification does not uh, reach the main board, I'm speaking about the plug. You may need to add some extra wire to it. And that won't be a problem unless you don't know how to solder. I would highly suggest getting a friend to uh, solder it, uh, make a longer wire so that everything reaches together and make sure that it's not too tight or tight fitting when everything's in place. All right, guys. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. What's that? No, that, sorry, the voices in my head are, are you know, they like to um, nag at me sometimes. I digress. Hey, thanks for watching again. This is the final video uh, of the ramp mod for the D.A. Stini Millennium Falcon. Enjoy, good luck. You have any questions, private message, Dragon 7 on Shapeways, and he'll be happy to.